do you really believe that she can cheat on you no matter what happened or no matter what she will really be a real and a good wife like committed wife so um let's talk about guys welcome back again to my channel my name is Susan and you're watching Susan TV so in today's video we're going to be talking about just very simple reason why some women cheat I can say 95 or 98 percent the reason why some uh, cheat so guys what to, uh, I think that make some women to cheat on their husband so I'm not talking about you being a girlfriend and you as a girlfriend, you guys start having kids. You know, it's different from what God has put together. Let no man put us on that. That means you have joined together as man and wife. So um, when two partners come together and they start having kids, so they are still dating. So I don't know what to call that, but I know uh, some people here in the Western world they said they call them they still call them girlfriend but in Africa they call them wife so even if they pay their bride price they don't pay their bride price as long as women start having kids with them they call them wife why some also accept them as baby mama and so women will say as my baby father but the normal way when you don't marry to a woman Normally, she is your baby mama or your girlfriend, all right? So there's nothing like that in the Bible, like a girlfriend or boyfriend or baby mama or whatsoever. So we just give, we just give that name as baby mama. Okay, what I'm going to talk about today, I'm going to talk about husband and wife, like most especially wives. Wives, not just wife, but the ones that cheat. Some of the reason why some women they cheat. Right, I made this video a long time ago. If you go down like to my channel, you will see it is really really long. And there are some comments I saw. It touched me. Like I felt, as uh, some people really they are going through a lot in their marriages, but they don't know how to like voice it out. All right, and some people they can't say it. They just decide to move out. So I respect the women, if you are a woman and you are married and you see that the marriage is not working, instead of you to go and start cheating, you decide to go out from that. I respect women like that. So um, some of the reasons why some women cheat are the women that want too much. Too much of everything the husband gives her, she wants more. That kind of woman will cheat. So let me explain it a little. When I say too much, you want too much attention. You want your husband to make you happy, like always. You want your husband to give you whatsoever you want and like the way you want it, how you want it, when you want it. So, not even thinking if the man is able to do it at that moment or not, but you just want it. Like, they just want it. You know, and remember, they said too much of everything is bad so when a woman want attention I know some men they lack giving their wife attention like to the extent when their wife make new hair they hardly notice it like their wife is carrying new hair let's say low facing nails okay but some men they are trying like okay they see at times they don't see but some women they just want too much and another thing is a woman that always competes. So it's a natural thing for everybody to like, oh my friend have this. Oh, okay, I want to have it. You see that one that press that I want to have this. I would or I would like to have this. I would like to have it. It is better that I must have this. There's a difference between I would love 
But I would have loved to have this that my friend have now. For example, you have um, my friend got a phone, and that kind of phone, I like it. I said I would have loved to have it if I have money. See, then I can stay back and say, okay, I don't have money. Let me use the one I have. You see, the one that said, my friend have this. I must have it. I don't care how you do it, just get it for me. Like, you don't want your friend to be um, more than you, to have what you don't have. Like, any lady that wants, uh, 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 that always wants to be higher than their friends. Like, okay, my friend have this, I want to have more, more than my friend. So this kind of people, if they are married and their husband is unable to provide this thing for them, so, and if they find someone that can easily give them those things, they will see that kind of person as uh, a man that can take care of them and they might not even know when they fall for this, for their whatsoever, they should talk them and all that. So why some women, they need attention and their husband is not giving them that attention. So if the man outside is giving them more attention, like giving them listening ears and all that, can make them fall for them so and when a woman needs something and she's not getting it automatically she start doubting her love or your love your love for her so when a woman start doubting your love for her it makes her start losing interest like it makes her start feeling she don't care about her you don't love her that's why you don't give her the things you want why so women they understand so we are talking about the woman that the women that don't understand so we're still going to be talking about the women that, that, um, that are okay with what they have, which is you are contented with what you have, all right? You are not asking for too much. Okay, so these are the major reasons why some women uh, cheat. I remember what the someone commented when I said somebody cheated and this is what happened. So it doesn't happen to everybody, but, and she said it to me, there are some, uh, and, and did this person drop a comment in a comment section and said, uh, my lady, you need to like, know what some people are going through. I know somehow she was just talking about herself, like some men, they just marry you and they just keep you there. They can do whatever they want to do outside. They don't even care how you feel. They don't even care what you do. They don't even care if you are okay. They don't even care if you are not okay. They don't even care if you if you have if you look good if you don't look good. As long as you are just there, they know that they are married. So, so when you are not giving your wife attention, and another man is giving the the, the woman attention, the woman can easily fall. So one thing. Me as a woman, I will advise my fellow woman is if you know what you are, what you want, because before you married this man, you dated, you guys dated, right? And you see that because some women they feel that when they are married, what the man is not doing for them while they are dating, the man will do it for them in, in marriage. No. See how you want your relationship to be, how you want your marriage to be is when you are dating even if you don't know if the marriage if the relationship leads to marriage or not but while you are dating start doing it be you ask for what you want if you know this person is not able to give it to you and you know you can't bear it because some women they don't care you give you don't give they are there but if you know this man cannot give you that thing you want it is better don't settle him all right and also if you're already in and what you want you are not getting it and it's making you to 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 want to look elsewhere it is better you quit you know that is why i said i respect those that quit their marriage rather to go and be cheating on their husband remember you are not doing this thing to hurt your husband you are doing this thing to hurt your fellow woman women because they are going to start saying that some married women, they don't respect themselves. Like you have to respect yourself. Your dignity matters a lot. You know, your personality matters a lot. And 
you know, by the time married women start cheating up and down, they don't even know. If you say you are married, they don't even value uh, 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 you. They don't even respect you because they feel that who knows if you are also doing it. So these kind of people, I can call them the spirit because when your friend has something, you want to have it. You know, competition like you must have it. You want to have it, and 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 you whatever your husband is giving you, you are asking for too much. You know, you are asking for excess of what they are giving you. Remember, the way your husband, the way you need your husband attention, that is also how the man needs your attention. I know some men they are just on dramatic, like they don't even know when and how to just take care of their woman. But I can say you know this before you get married, before you enter, but instead of you to like start doing this thing that will bring shame to the womanhood that will bring shame to other women out there it is better you quit so i'm going to end it here i hope we talk we we'll talk more about this topic some other time and i will also be watching at the comments whatever people say about the comments about whatever the comments about this video it's what I will use to like to know if I'm continue or not. Okay. So I just want you to tell me what you think about this. If it's really right, or if what I just said now is right or wrong. You know, remember I said major major thing, two things. You know, and um, a lady that is not contented with what she have. Like, if you are not contented with what you have, and also, if you are asking for too much, a lady that asks for too much and a lady that is always competing, like competing with her friends, whatever her friends have, she wants to have more, like she wants to be higher. Everybody wants to be higher, but if you can afford it to be higher, it's good. But is this lady putting your hands where you know you can get to or what you know you can do? So, and yeah, what do you think about this video? I want to know your opinion in the comment section. Until then, and thanks for watching. Bye for now.